Yo, 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 what's popping? Hello, Jenny, you're the first this time. What up, guys? Yo, so saying hi to all the fans, this time from London. Um, you know that I won't be alone during this live stream. Hope you're all excited, because I'm pretty excited. Zdravím všechny fanoušky, ten dokáz z Londýna. A na dnešní live stream budu mít hosta. Takže se máte na to těšit. Um, let me just say hi to a few people right now and then you know who's about to get in. Mikola CMG, what up? Michal Slepička, ahoj. Eli, hello, what up, Eli? London is amazing. Do you guys, by the way, want to do some meet and greet? Let me know. We might do it. Hello, Naira. Hello, Natalie. Nicholas, your love. There you go. Is the weather better in London or Prague? Actually, it's so unbelievably hot in London. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So what, guys? Should we get Christian Kostov live with me? What do you think? We're about to do it. Okay, give me give me a second. Nope. Hold on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Waiting for Christian Costa official. Yo! Hey! <laughs> What's up? Oh look, I'm a dog now. <laughs> What's up? Doing? What you doing? I'm just in my hotel actually right now, um, doing some music production. And That going great. live with my fans. What about you, man? Where you at? Oh look, the view is amazing. I'm at our place. Wow. Yeah, it's perfect. Wow. The shots here are amazing. Wow, yeah. everybody saying hi to you. Look at the hi, hi, hi. Hold on. London is pretty cool too. Man, London is so sunny these days. I can't believe it. Man. I guess you're just the lucky one. Because when I was in London, it was... Uh, I, I will not say how the weather was. It, it, it's not that it was bad. It was just London. <laughs> I have to say, like, every time I'm in London, it's super sunny. I don't know why. Guess I bring the sun with me. <laughs> That's yeah, always... probably. <laughs> Yeah, man. So you were in Paris, right? Yeah. How was it? I was at Ed Sheeran's concert at Stade de France, and it was like 60,000 people watching, and it was... No way. I have no words. And he was the best. He was literally the best. Like, he he was perfect from the beginning from the beginning till the end. Like, bro, we have a lot to learn. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. He, he, oh, he, yeah. He, he was so good. Man, I went to see him when he was in Prague, and back then, it was like, He was, I don't know, that was like 20,000 people maximum, but like these days, the tour, tours that he does, man, it's like crazy. Were you there for the night one or night two? Again? Um, I think he did two gigs in Paris. I think like he did like two shows. He did um, two in a row and it was sold out. Yeah, so was it the second show or the first show? It was the second show and it was sold out again. <laughs> It's insane, man. He's, he's crazy. He's crazy. I love him, man. He's insane. And the fact that he's like an English singer, like he's from UK, you know, and like know, an English singer to sing in Stade yeah. de France and make it a sold out, it's like, it's legendary. And everybody yeah. were, were going crazy and they were singing, like not even one person was not standing on their feet when he was singing Shape of You. Like everybody were dancing, like 60 year old people, 10 year old people everybody were dancing and this is incredible i want to i want to i want to have the same type of audience <laughs> <laughs> crazy we're getting there man we're getting there man so right now you're in Hopefully. bulgaria right what you're in bulgaria right yeah yeah i'm home <laughs> yeah man so is this where you live actually you have this view man. it's not where i live but it is where my soul lives like i'm ah, a bulgarian ah, <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Man, we have to talk about your vision, of course, man, because oh, yeah. I guess it was really different for me than it was for you, mostly because 
it was in Ukraine and the whole thing was different. So, man, I'm still like, my brain is still so full of it because like, come on, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, few yeah, months I, I, like, it's been two years from your like, uh, yeah, two years and it's still crazy. Like, I still think like it was yesterday. Yeah, really, man. Okay, so I'm going to have that in two years too, right? <laughs> 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 oh, man. But like, how was it for you guys, man? Like, was it... Tell me your experience. Like, you now look back and you think, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Uh, the sound quality. The sound quality was great. I know that you had some issues. Not you particularly, but this year, like, there were some... You too, right? But there were some, like, difficulties or, like, struggles with the sound. But our year, it was perfect. I, I, I legit went... Uh, to my uh, dressing room and I cried because I was like, oh my god, not, not like cry, but I was like, oh my god, why the hell I didn't know that you could sing with a sound like this? Like, I could hear myself perfectly and I never oh, yeah. ever knew that you can sing like that and like you can feel good on stage with a sound like this good. And yeah, so this is the first thing that comes to my mind. And of course, audience, it was, it was great. Like 10,000 people. For you, it was 30 or 20, right? Or something like that. I think so. I think, um, are you talking about the size of the audience right now? Like, yeah, fact, yeah, for us it was like 10, I think it was like 13,000, actually 13. not, mm. yeah, not so much, but uh, still like, <laughs> kind yeah, of a so lot, you know. Mostly, I remember only good things from Eurovision. What about you, like, what, what was it like this year? Well, man, like, the first thing that comes to my mind is also sound, but like, I have the, the opposite experience. Um, you know what I think? I think it's Ukraine because when I did, when I did the performance um, during the Ukrainian finals, during their national finals, like the sound was so good, it was like I couldn't believe it. I, that was pretty much like the best sound I ever had in my life. But then, mm -hmm. funnily enough, like when we came to ESC, the sound was like um, we we were mm -hmm. sorting it out with people like all the time, and it did actually caused some fuss among the team like not only like in our team but i know a lot of people were having problems um, yeah exactly this is what i heard especially when we were singing all the levels were like boom, 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 boom. and then when i watched the live performance i was like yeah it could have been a little bit better but you know yeah. it is what it is so so you so, were yeah. great man like i i was i was rooting for you like I, I i'm gonna be honest like i know bulgaria everything i voted for them but I was rooting for you, man. Like you, you deserve like a big stage because you're fresh. You're thanks. We like, are young. Rooting for you. We have to like support each other. And That's I was right. Going nuts. I was like, oh my god, he has to be in like at least top five. Like what the hell? Man, I yeah, uh, it was six at the end, but like <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. But you like, did the flip though, right? Like I did. I did. You were supposed I did. not to do it, but you did it. I was not supposed to. I'm I'm just about to play in Estonia and I did an interview for Baltic Sound Festival where I'm gonna be playing. And they were like, So you were not supposed to do it, but you did it anyway. I was like, Yeah, actually the head of neurological department in Prague told me that I'm crazy if I want to do it, but I was like, you know, I just have this one shot. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think I think what makes a good performer is that man, there's always going to be like something that's that will mess up, mess yeah, up yeah, what it, you it, intend it, to do. Like that. Man, every single time, like you forget lyrics or I don't know, whatever the It happens so often for... to me though, I feel stupid. <laughs> what do you mean? I forget my own lyrics, like what the hell? Man, it happens to me all the time actually, man. Yeah, like, I feel bad. Man, <laughs> when... <laughs> man the people are loving it. Nicholas live, two Rob legends I still can't handle. What do you mean Rob? Like, <laughs> Are you talking about like the position or something? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, do you feel oh, we have some too. That's great. Привет, ребят. Как ваши дела? Здравейте всички от България. Yeah. <laughs> can you say something in Czech? I can. Um, Zdravíme všechny fanoušky a to s Kristianem Kostovem, a který reprezentoval 2017 Bulharsko. Uh, skončil super výsledkem, takže tady ho máte. <laughs> How does it sound okay. Let me say the same in Bulgarian. Okay, so, uh, Здравейте всички, ние сме тук с Миколас Йосеф и той е един от най-яките изпълнители от Евровизия 2017. И сме станали приятели, така се получи. И той сега пише песни, прави много яки неща, така че може да го последва, ако искате. И да, за той е много як
So I just said that you're a really great guy and that you are like making a lot of cool stuff. Like new stuff is coming really soon. I hope so because you told me yesterday. So that. is yours though. So is yours though. Yes. Yes. Tell me something so about funny. it. Tell me something, man. Tease me. Tease me. Spill the tea. Okay. So, <laughs> actually, actually, I can't say it because it's not on me. Like it, it, it's it is not it is not going to be me who will like release the song. Uh -huh. Like you know how it works. You know how it's like with labels and everything yeah. so yeah. i just have to say that it's going to be like hopefully this month uh Ooh. possibly a couple of weeks or maybe one week i don't know we'll see <laughs> wow guys have you heard okay. that christian's going to be releasing something within a month i, I hope so i hope so wow exciting yeah. exciting <laughs> stuff eh? exciting stuff yeah, yeah. well actually me, I'm still, I'm in the hotel, always working on stuff. Um, people are like, why are you not posting and why are you not more active? But it's because I'm always working, guys. Come on, so that I can also... You know, like, we're not so. bloggers. I'm, like, trying to do it, trying to blog, trying to make pictures or vlogs or something. But we are not this. We're singers, man. We're, like, we're musicians, not singers. Exactly. And but I have to say, man, I really like your Instagram, man. Like, you've got, like... You've got the blogger's eye, man. Really, man. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yours is great, too. Like, your last picture, man, that, that's lit. Uh, uh, I'm trying my <laughs> humble best, man. But you're like I a freaking, like, tell... fashion model. I don't know. Like, you're, you're like, from a cover of a magazine. Like, this is how you look. Oh, my God. No, nah, man. I don't know. I'm trying my humble best, but not quite there. There you man. I think you could talk about about it but but we should probably tell the people where we actually met for the first time and that was in amsterdam where where chris gave me some advice on how to handle everything and useful actually i have to say because then when you thanks for that man for that. oh and oh i mean it was my pleasure to meet you and actually my brother like we we're working together you know that he was like oh my god i, I yeah. didn't expect him to be that well, um, how do you say that? Uh, I don't know how to say that in, in English, I forgot. Like, you are really into music and you know what Easy. you're doing. Like, your production your production is on a higher level than he thought. And, like, the fact that you do it yourself is amazing. Because I am not doing it myself. I'm writing my own songs, but I'm not doing the production. But you are doing both, which is great. Yeah. But still, I mean, when you're in the same and you of course like have feedbacks for the producers oh yeah you still of course, but I'm not you don't go for something that like... yeah me i'm still like an executive producer like i'm doing everything but uh depends from project to project you know sometimes i do most of it like with light of me i did like 100 percent of it and with the next things i uh i'm collaborating with people the people that actually you're working too man i know that should we even no we should not say the name so i think but the fact yeah, that we should keep it a secret group, and when like, it's out we're gonna tell the name it's just funny yeah but yeah but it is the world is so small so what's your plan now what do you say the world is so small is it is crazy oh yeah man yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah and i've heard some rumors that moving somewhere oh yeah uh so I really, I really want to move to Vienna, and hopefully, will wow. happen in September. I, I hope so, and yeah, we're we're working on it. Wow. Well, in any case, no matter how it ends up, you gotta you gotta let me know because I live there, you know. And I, I know. I know. Cool I know. You where... study there, right? I didn't study there actually. Like I'm there um, to to work with the guy that actually got me out of Czech Republic. His name is Nico de Mille. He was doing, he was actually at Eurovision with me. He was managing mm -hmm. the sound. So mm -hmm. I moved there for a year and then from Vienna straight to Eurovision. So, yeah, the, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it looks like we might, if we will be in Vienna, we'll probably end up in a studio, but this is another a whole different theme to talk about. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. <laughs> so let's oh, yeah. not, let's not tease. <laughs> What about what about the plans, man? You gotta tell me and the fans something about where they can see you, or like where are you going, man? Tell me. 
it's always like I may get a call tonight that I'm going to like I don't know Greece in a week or like that I'm going to I don't know Canada maybe I don't know. I want I want to go to Japan <laughs> and Canada but it's it's cool. like it, it's complicated it's not on me again it's because of my schedule and everything but for now I'm a chill here in Bulgaria like I need some rest it was a it was hell of a year I've been to China I've been to, I don't know where I have not been been to like maybe Africa only and that's it and it was a hell a hell of a year and now I need some rest like for three four days at least yeah man definitely well man it sounds like an exciting year but you've been to the MA day VMAs last year right yeah 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 man I was there too actually this year how was it Same for you thing, yeah you seen Marcus and Martinez there too what did you say You've seen Marcus and Martinez there. Oh yeah, yeah, we met, man. We met. They're so How cool. are they? Like really I've never dope. I've never met them. Man, they're really dope. They're like uh they, are? they came into the dressing room and they were like, "Yo, what up?" and really energetic, you know, really they had this super positive vibe and nice. it was just nice to chill. We only like talked for like 10, 15 minutes or something. But during those 10 minutes, it's like Um I I thought Martinez <laughs> and when we talked about everything it was really funny it was really funny and they've been doing this for like five years now so uh it was crazy to to see how how like how much experience they've got and when they started talking about the music like people industry, should like, stop really judging people by the by their age like they're so young yet they are much better than a lot of adults so yeah yeah man yeah man yeah man no it is what it is I I know that right now they're in LA I think recording some songs and um they told me about Prague like Prague where I'm from being one of like favorite cities to play gigs um oh that is um, I think they were I've never been to Prague uh they were Carlin it was amazing so yeah man um I heard only the I good, good stuff but yeah man you told me that <laughs> coming I don't know like I can come tomorrow if I want to I like nothing can stop me I don't need visas or anything like I can come tomorrow but it depends on like work again like if I'll have something there I will definitely come and I have a place to stay so mm, so good uh-huh. I see I see I see I see Marcus right now on our live chat saying we love Prague <laughs> That is great like I want to visit Prague in Christmas time like when it's christmas eve oh, yeah. and everything is it's the best time right yeah man it's really nice during christmas by the way saying hi to marcus and martinez guys it's so nice that you're watching we're sending love hope you're doing well hi oh they are watching um, what yeah man they just they just commented man they were like we love hi. prague i'm i'm like i cannot see even with glasses like i don't see anything almost oh i see i see so let me read some of the questions from the people because christian can't see <laughs> <laughs> so let me <laughs> I'm sorry it's it, like it's too small for me I really can't I have to be like <laughs> like guys. like this <laughs> <laughs> So guys if you have any questions right now is the time that we'll be answering it Everybody's telling me that they can't see me can you see me Chris I can't let's uh, let's start again with a live Okay man okay 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 yeah. <laughs> It's all right let's do it let's do it again Oh man okay I okay, thought it was just me All okay. right, hold on a second. I'll do it one more time. Yeah. I am here. <laughs> 